Welcome back. We focus tonight on efforts by Colorado Springs utilities to generate more renewable energy as the Drake coal power plant is set to shutter in 15 years. New science reporter Colette Bordelon took a tour of their front range natural gas facility today. She's in studio and this will be taking on the brunt of our energy needs in the future, Colette. That's right, natural gas and a big boost in solar power is how CSU plans to transition away from coal. But before the Drake is closed, they need to have one or more natural gas power plants up and running to make sure there's no gap in their coverage. Right next to the train tracks is a place Kurt Deagle has driven by for years. Aesthetically, it's not the greatest thing, but when you can uh, flip your switch and turn your lights on, that's a good thing. The Martin Drake power plant should be shut down by 2035. The ideas are good, but to put a date on them, uh, I don't think is very feasible. Colorado Springs Utilities has a plan perched on their natural gas power plants. We are changing. The industry is changing. So we can power about 260,000 homes from this power plant. On a cool day, we could we could power the springs. Bill Sunderland has been at the Front Range facility for around four years, and he says they actually power more homes than the Drake. It is cheaper than what it costs to run Drake right now. But it's more than just natural gas in the future. Big push for why aren't we using renewables in the state of Colorado when we have abundant sunshine. Phil Tana from CSU says they're making a huge leap in their solar power using the biggest storage battery currently in the state and increasing the amount of solar power from 10 to 90 megawatts by the end of this year. I, I don't want to mislead with a message that prices are going to stay the same. I think we are we are going to balance the portfolio as carefully as we can. Um, and not unnecessarily increase prices. One thing is for sure the natural gas will help solar when the clouds swoop in. There are about 80 people working at the Drake and the company says they'll transfer those people to other jobs at CSU. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Colette Bordelon, News 5.